pick up the phone and call me I'll be there Girl, let me show you You're my one and only Like I told you I'll be there If you get blue, I got the love in blue I think I'm almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a call. <sighs> Felix. Yes. I'm just calling to let you know that I'm doing it by myself. Don't worry. I've got this. If I don't call you back within the next 10 minutes and send the crew. Yeah. All right. Bye. Hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. Um, can you help me? It, it's my car. I think something's wrong. Oh my gosh, yes, please. Come take a look at it. Um, just right up the street here. I don't know what happened, but we're gonna have to walk a little bit. Yeah, sorry. Hmm. This is the closest house. Everything here is so secluded. No one to help. That doesn't scare you? I don't know, just living out here alone. What if something happens to you? <laughs> you don't think anything would. Well, that's good. It's good to be positive, isn't it? Yeah. What's your name? Well, nice to meet you. <laughs> and here we are. Let me go ahead and pop the hood for you. Okay. <sighs> there we go. Hmm. <sighs> So, what do you see? Mm, I'm not too sure. Like, when I was driving, it just started making weird noises. I mean, there's lots of icons on my dash screen, but I'm, I'm, I'm just a girl. I don't know. Yeah, my, my dad and my brothers usually handle this kind of thing. Of course, yeah. <laughs> But I do remember last time they worked on my car, there was something towards the inside. You have to like dig deep in there. Yeah, just lean over a little bit. Yeah, you see that piece? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Walk to the trunk. Now.
go. Hands on the back of your head and spread. <sighs> Move, and I swear my finger might accidentally pull back. Is this your phone? <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> now, open it. Open the trunk. Get in. You heard me. Hello? It's done. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. I'll be there in a little bit. Yeah. Have the boys ready. All right, see you soon. Boys, a little help, please. <laughs> Don't worry, they're just sleeping. Hmm. Let me get cleaned up first before you bring them in. Go ahead and tie them up. Have them ready in that chair I like. Thank you. Felix? I need you to go to their address and make a pretty fire for me tonight, okay? Perfect. <sighs> I'll be down there in a minute. All right. Well, well, well. I can't say I'm happy to see you. Oh, don't look at me like that. I barely used force. You've seen nothing yet. <laughs> hmm? Why are you here? Hmm. Why are you here? Take a guess. <laughs> hmm? Who am I? Oh, come on. You don't remember me? Wow. You came to my art exhibit. Members only night, remember? Where people pay a very little amount to get exclusive art made by me. <laughs> I gotta give it to you. I'm slightly impressed. To steal my art and go unnoticed for as long as you did. <laughs> Fortunately, for me, this is my every day. I'm very, very 
passionate about my art. All art, actually. And when I realized what you were doing, it, it struck a nerve. <sighs> you might assume that I'm a bad person for doing this, but honestly, I'm not. This is just business. I only deal with the bad guys. You see, my family, if you haven't noticed, we're something of a mob. <laughs> We don't really call ourselves that, but people know who we are. Let's just say my name holds a lot of weight. Everywhere here, actually. <laughs> the cops, everyone. My family owns them. And now I own you. Anyways, because of what you've done, I have to make an example out of you. Do you know why I started making this art? Not a clue, huh? Well, I started this because I wanted to help people. But there's also another reason. You see, I'm really sick. I needed the extra money to cover my medical bills. I didn't want my family finding out about it. So I went this route where there can be an exchange. I give one of the most important human things comfort. And in return, I only ask for a very little amount. <sighs> so, when I found you, and I emailed you, and you said you didn't care, I lost all potential for kindness. You see, <laughs> this could have went so differently if you weren't so mean, greedy, Disgusting. I mean, it's the holiday season and you make me do this. <sighs> you know, that's the thing about you people. You think you're anonymous. You're that greedy and have no sympathy or respect for other people's work. Do you know how much 10 minutes of art takes me? Just 10 minutes. To make it happen, that's two days. 30 minutes? A week? That's time I could spend living my life. And instead, I'm using the little time I have outside of my job to make sure people feel good. Every single day. In sickness. Poor health every emotion. I put it to the side to do this. There's plenty of artists that deserve this. I mean, no stranger to theft, but there's plenty of people who prey on their consumers, no matter the age. It's about power, and they make millions off of this. Me. <laughs> I don't do anything. To anyone. I make crumbs and you stole from me. <laughs> Not even just me, every other innocent person. Big mistake. <sighs> Look at this little face you have. I'm going to make you wish you were dead. <laughs> Aw, to just let you go would be a joke. I have to make an example out of you. Or others will think I'm weak. And that, I am not. 
Oh, lighten up. You couldn't have possibly thought I would just let you get away with this, right? <laughs> no, no. Now, you pay. I get sicker every day I go to work. This was my way out of that. In a couple of months, I would have been able to quit. And with you, I didn't even ask you for the money back. I just asked you to give the art back and you laughed in my face. <laughs> so now, I own you. And you, my friend, owe me everything. Because this, all of this art that I make, it's everything to me. And every breath you take now is too expensive. And you're already in debt. I'm not a fan of that. Or people like you at that. <laughs> I want to show you something. You see this? It was a gift. Brass knuckles. <laughs> also a few rings. This ring right here was a gift from my father. It's been passed down generation to generation. It's a blood diamond. He even decked it out. See, I can spin the diamond around so the bottom points up. See how pointy that is? It punctures the skin with ease. Super sharp. Let's give it a go, shall we? I think it's only right. A diamond that represents greed and corruption with a soul that represents just that. <laughs> Look at me. I said, look at me. Aww. Why the sad face? <sighs> Are you scared? Hmm? You didn't seem too scared over email now, did you? I mean, really, even with the threat of legal action, I figured, one... I could sue you for everything that you've stolen from me, which is thousands. Thousands that could have freed me from my personal hell. But no. Tying you up in endless litigations. It's just not enough. <sighs> we own the cops, so... I mean kind of gave me the go-ahead with this. <laughs> oh. Let's fix that facial expression. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. I think your nose might be broken. <laughs> ah. Let's play a little game. Yeah. Some fun facts. Do you know how many bones are in the human body? 206. Today, you're going to feel every single one. Yeah. Oh, you're leaking. Felix! Yes. Wipe their nose, please. Oh, actually, I have a better idea. Bring me a bucket of water and a cloth. Ooh, and a plastic bag. Thank you. Hmm? <laughs> no, silly. You really think I'm going to clean you up? This is the fun part. Thank you, Felix. You sorry yet? Yeah? 
I don't believe you. Put the cloth on their face. Now pour. What? I can't hear you. Okay. Stop, Felix. Ah. Uh -uh. Just roll the cloth up to their mouth. <laughs> Look at you. You can't breathe. Gasping for air. <sighs> Imagine having to live with that feeling every day when you get stressed out. Working a high stress job, 18 hours a day, seven days a week. It's a disease. An invisible one that you can't see, so no one takes it seriously until I pass out or actually show symptoms. And you are stealing my only way of paying for treatments. <laughs> you think the water is bad. I'm just getting started. Pass me the bag, Felix. <laughs> you know... Some people enjoy stuff like this. It's called breath play. Gives them a rush. Temporary hypoxia or low oxygen levels. When your levels are low, you may feel dizzy or lightheaded. But when the pressure is released and oxygen and blood begin to flow again, you may enjoy it mainly because of the release of dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins causes a head-spinning exhilaration. And like I said, every breath you take is entirely too expensive. <laughs> what was that? Was that a please? <laughs> Please, please let me go. Pathetic. Remember when I said please? Felix, you can leave now. Don't worry, I know when to stop. You heard me. Leave. <sighs> there we go. Some privacy. I like this chair because I can just sit on the lap with ease. It makes it really easy for me. Now, the cloth on your face, this plastic bag in my hand, this one's gonna be tough. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Yeah, struggle for me. <laughs>